Hot 97 with our family, Drewski. Yes, I am here. Love and hip hop. Now you have your wonderful lady here, Sky. Hi, Sky. Hi, Nessa. You are gorgeous. <laughs> you are too. Well, thank mm-hmm. you. Now, really quick, because Drewski, I always talk to you. I want to ask you something really quick, Sky. So yeah. you lost a lot of weight from back in the day. Mm-hmm. I went from a size 14 to a size 4. How? Um, time and patience. No, uh, I worked out about five days a week in the beginning. And then I went from eating chicken to cutting chicken out, eating vegetarian diet, then going vegan. Now I'm vegan. How do you like it? I'm vegan. So how do you like it? I, I think the first three months were tough. I was hangry a lot with him. Right. But he was very supportive. Like, you're not missing out on anything. Don't worry about it. Now to the point where we go out and he's like, hey, do you what's vegan on your menu? I don't even have to ask anymore. So Just it's a good team. See, effort. I, I am a nice guy <laughs> after all. You are a gentleman. <laughs> yes. You know, I thought it was interesting because I saw a clip before actually watching an episode of Cardi in your face talking about, you know, all guys being the same, which is true. But I mean, (laughs) that's really thoughtful. You caring about Sky and, you know, being a gentleman. Well, the last time I was on your show as a guest, right? You so you know me a lot more. You know my personal right. business. You know my past oh. relationship, right? The first time yes. I ever spoke about it was on Nessa's show. Yeah, and I think from that, I've learned and I matured as a man, as a boyfriend, as a friend. Wow. So I think you know that has helped me from the time we sat down and spoke about it to now. Yeah. It's sort of like a one eighty type of person. Does your past hit you up at all now? Because you have matured. No, I think we understand one another. We respect each other's business at this point, and no. Really, that's good. You know right. what? That's maturity right there. Right, very much so. That's that's a hard thing, especially for guys, because I feel like they always still have a line to their past, right? But mm-hmm. I think that this is good to hear. This is healthy. Now, what's the situation with Bianca? <laughs> you want to? So, no, that's all you. Let, I hear <laughs> the honest. Point. Yes. Okay. Bianca and I were friends. I known Bianca for years before Sky. Okay. You no, know, we were cool. Never took it to no other level besides just being cool. Right. And I think now it just came back around. You know, she's an artist out here working. I'm a DJ on the radio. Right. You're here, hot ninety. Exactly. This is so what you do. she's looking at it like, yo, if you're my friend, you know, I'm gonna try to take advantage of that relationship. Right. Except she's going about it in just the wrong way. Which is why, Sky, you have a problem with her. It's because of how she's handling it. Exactly. I mean, Nessa, you're a woman. Yes. You know what it's like. So it's like, as a woman, we have to work three times as hard. Right. So it's kind of offensive. No, she doesn't owe me loyalty, but it's like, it's just a code. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you, someone, if a man actively tells you, I have a woman, and you're still, like, engaging in it, it's kind of like. flirty. Like, yeah. Is? I mean, okay. I expect my man to flirt. Don't get me wrong. Not, not. I mean, it's it's almost like inevitable. Drewski, don't shake your head. Like <laughs> she knows me. I though. know yeah. him, you know. But it's like when you're saying you're gonna take him from me, then that's a that. Then now you you kind of it's like wow, I didn't even know you was like that. It's a violation. It's a v- extreme violation. <sighs> <laughs> well, now let me ask you something. Do you feel him knowing her before you should be even part of this? discussion or argument because the, the point is like whether you could know him for 10 years what right. i've been through with him in one year is seven years worth of a relationship god drewski why why did you put her through that anyway <laughs> so it's like, i'm gonna make it worth it <laughs> it's like 10 years how often did y'all talk hmm, show me the receipts i don't have those so it's like hmm, he might have maybe touched your butt you might have kissed him on the cheek but what are we talking about here we're not talking about an in-depth 10-year relationship that's just time passing that means nothing right. so it's kind of like well cool but you don't really have what do you have i'm confused the substance the substance yeah like you have yeah the kiss part threw you off when (laughs) you know when she was talking about the song that she was writing and she thought of him and the texting and oh the i miss you i want to kiss you that yeah i was like wow okay well clearly she might have feelings for you what are you gonna do about it what are you gonna do about it drewski I'm not. I'm just trying to make music. I have yeah. a record. I want to get her on. I'm open with Sky. We communicate. She knows that's not really even my type. Mm-hmm. Even, you know what I'm saying? So it's like I'm. I'm here for business. Strictly business. Right. Now, 
you guys know me. I like to have fun, fool around, joke around, play. Right. But I will never take it to the limit where I feel like I'm disrespecting Sky. Whether you might feel is disrespectful, right. but I got to go with how I feel. Now, right. if I'm flirting, it's cool. She know, like, you know, it's harmless. Right. But I'm, I'll push it to the limit, but I'm never going to disrespect it. Like, yeah. So that's strictly like having fun being creative we're in a creative space right yeah. so we use that as an excuse we to definitely have fun with it that yeah sure. so, so sky let me ask you now you weren't a fan of you know her working with him mm -hmm. and you said that you had who was it mariah lynn on the record mm -hmm. instead of her i wanted mariah lynn on the record okay so you wanted that mm -hmm. and what so where is this at now drewski I think her trying to make decisions about my music and my job was where she kind of overstepped her boundaries and i had to tell her like yo for the fitness stuff, that's all you. Your business, stripping fitness, you do events, that's you handle all that. When it comes to the music, when it comes to DJing, that's what I do. So she kind of, you know, get, um, got emotional about it and overstepped her boundaries, but I respect it. But it's like, I'll, if I want Bianca on a record, it's for a reason. And you got to be able to trust me. And it's just part of my job. I don't go to your job telling you what to do. Let me ask you about that. So what is the relationship between you two other than the intimate the you guys being boyfriend and girlfriend? Our relationship? Yeah, like what's the business? I side? well, I assist for him. So any emails, like anything that comes through, I'm it's going through me. We show each other, we respond together, you know, like I, I follow up with people who book him like we go we do he does another platform so we handle that together as well um on top of that we have strip and fitness which is my business um basically helping women strip down fitness and really lose weight and really get to that goal that they finally want to get to and he's the dj for that right so we do these parties together and we actually built the business together we came up with a name together so it's way more in depth than just a relationship it's 24 7. so i would understand why she feels this about music and she's the mother of my puppy oh my gosh <laughs> yes. you're so cute Shout out to butter. <laughs> oh my gosh how cute so i understand but, her you know feeling a certain way about who you work with i mean this this is more than just right a relationship of hey just support me whatever i do this is like hey i i'm also involved in it and i'm not comfortable no, exactly exactly i'm just <laughs> listen i'm just taking a woman's uh, i'm trying to understand because i think it's from a sincere genuine place obviously you know right, this right, Drewski. so does this i mean how does it make you feel do you feel like you are stuck in the uh, middle of where you have yeah. to decide i'm like yo this is extra pressure on me yeah while i'm trying to work and making music you know you want to be in a creative mindset not worrying about how other people feel about right. what you're doing so it puts a little pressure on me and it's like well after i leave the studio now i gotta go back home to her and try to keep a happy home but she's not happy be because what's going on in the studio and it's, it's a little pressure and we try to like talk about it and i try to be like you know it don't matter if it's bianca or a male artist like it's just work and you got to like take that part out of your brain where it's you so think there's hard. something more. It, it's very hard. It's hard. It is hard. It's it is very hard. hard. And that's, that's why we were like, this is, we really live this life. So, yeah. you know, let's put it on camera. Let's put it on love and hip hop. Let's have yeah. fun with it and show, you know, I'm sure we're not the only couple that goes through that. Right. So it's like, that's why we were open to the idea of even going on Love & Hip Hop because it's real. Like, we're not faking. Yeah. We're really a couple. We really go through this stuff. So so before Love & Hip Hop, how did you guys meet? Like, so... He can tell the story. Oh, <laughs> go ahead. It's like a Love & Hip Hop story. So <laughs> I, it, we kind of met, like I said, we had our interview. Okay. Because well, I was going through some stuff. So, like, it was, like, right at the end of that, I, I'm out of a relationship. I'm in L.A. And I'm at my friend's house. Sh and my friend and her friend are roommates okay got yeah, it okay so jack and jill right yeah uh jack is her friend jill is my f my friend got it jack and jill are roommates so got after it. the club we i come back to the house with jill she comes back with jack so we're all in the same house and it was kind of like i look over i'm like damn i'm just single now yeah she got a dimple and some curly hair like it's beautiful and you know me so well, I I, like, we know <laughs> <laughs> we know <laughs> and then i like you know i'm like yo tomorrow i'm doing this a music event if you want to come and she's kind of like yeah, yeah cool whatever Actually, write your number down on a piece of paper. <laughs> it's so cute. So I'm like, all right, she's trying to play me. It's cool. I, I know I'm a bag anyway. So here, take yeah. the paper. Wow. Now I give her my phone number on a paper. Jill sees it. Jill, who's my friend. Yeah. And is like, yo, hold up. You in my house giving another girl. Matter of fact, get out. 
So now I get kicked out. But it was all worth it because, look, we're here to, mm. today. Oh, my gosh. I didn't know he got kicked out until six months later. <laughs> and I had to stay there that night. So she was like, <laughs> I, your friend Jill was so rude. that I'm like, well, because she was like a little more than just a friend, just so you know. But that's probably why. Oh, my gosh. Drewski. Uh, You're honest. Yes, yeah. I was yeah, honest. But that, see, and I think that's what um, I respect is like, I want you to be my best friend. So don't feel uncomfortable telling me the truth. Like, right. that's why a lot of relationships don't work is because you might react a certain way that I don't agree with, but I want you to tell me. Right. Like, I want you to just tell me. It's all right. I might be un more understanding than you think. Do you worry at all about his past? I mean, Drewski was out here. Oh, I, I've heard. Um, like super. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I think that uh, I've I've been through a lot myself, like in terms of like just dealing with men who are disrespectful and, you know, certain lifestyles. So I feel like I understood him. Right. Right. And I'm not insecure. I lost a lot of weight on my own. I had to really deal with that mentally, physically. So a man can't really break me down anymore. Mm. And it's like at this point, what you do... I'm focused. Like, I have a business to build. You can do whatever. I'm going to respond how I respond. When I'm done, I'll be done. Like, I make my decisions. You know what I'm saying? That's why he really likes yeah. it. <laughs> and, and because, because you're very confident. <laughs> that and when we first met before a relationship, I was all over the place. I was a mess. and I was really able, was. Yeah. And I was able to sit with her and just express things that I never told anyone about my past and things I'd done and she's just listening and taking in and actually giving advice like you know we had feelings for one another but she's like maybe you should go you know close your ex relationship like put some closure to it so it's not on your mind like don't think that it's gonna affect our relationship so she was really open and you know supportive, supportive of the fuck shit I did. On top, yeah, you really yeah. were. On right. top of the fact that, I mean, he was very unhealthy and a bunch of other things that he was just, it the was DJ just horrible. Life, oh, you know? it's, it's, DJ life. it's so bad. So, I mean, you know. <laughs> That's great. Out. Thank right. God for this guy. I mean, look, we all love Drewski because he's our, you know, our brother. He's our family here. So right. it's nice to see this. I do get concerned, though, because you guys are on camera all the time. And I get worried about those who come in, you know, loving each other so much, end up leaving, hating each other. Do you guys worry that this show love and hip-hop might you know tear you guys apart no i i think like similar to all of us in the room yeah. are built from a certain cloth like yeah. even yourself yeah. like i watched you go through stuff and just yeah. keep moving like it don't affect you and i'm the same way and i'm and i taught her in such a short time how to be like that at first it was affecting her even like social media comments tweets like people are i'm trying to like yo people are evil they you know, really are. People are brutal. Bad. Like, <laughs> yeah. They don't know nothing and they'll just make up a story. Like already one of the blogs, the bigger blogs, broke us up. Yeah, you I know? saw that. Yeah, like already like after the first episode, I walked the red carpet with Mariah Lynn who's on the show. And the next day, me and Mariah Lynn is dating. Drewski breaks up with Sky mm -hmm. for her. So it's like now she understands how stories could be switched and changed and she's like all right i'm not gonna take any of this personal Good. and not to mention i'm with him along the way he's he's literally showing me telling me right. everything it's not like i'm in the dark people are like oh did you see this i saw this before you baby like yeah. it's yeah. okay <laughs> like yeah you know what i'm saying yeah and does it still bother you though huh? comments i the mean trolls? i'm gonna be honest with you i'm growing a thicker skin good and i know and i think i'm learning how to respond with kindness because i get it people are angry and you see something and you feel like you have an opinion and that's okay right but as the bigger person and someone who has to carry themselves i feel like with class i can't stoop to the level of saying you know like pointing a finger no i get your opinion thank you i appreciate yeah. it yeah but i don't care but i exactly that, but uh -huh. that's the way of saying i don't care <laughs> i get your opinion thank you thank you that's right <laughs> but me being petty i love it i enjoy oh, it juicy loves yeah, I'm super oh, petty. so I, I reply to everything with a joke he does. and then sometimes i'll even like take my hate and kind of throw it on her to see how she would react to it this is just having fun it's, so. it's, it's like dealing with a crazy person <laughs> it is mm -hmm. that's how most djs are it's, yes. it, it's crazy i don't even yeah i bless you for dealing with drewski this far now I, I saw a little clip of what we're about to see you throwing bread at bianca yeah now you pulled it out your bra why did you have bread in your bra i mean you know for me yeah um people throw a drink people throw a things i am a food person right so i don't i wouldn't have a glass in my hand you know what i'm saying like and throwing something at somebody is the 
big, one of the biggest forms of disrespect. So it's like, well, right. okay, well, take this and hold that. So you know? did you know this? Were you aware that, okay, I might get into it. So you know what? I'm going to go ahead and put bread. I, had, I did have something to eat. Before. Yes, I had an idea in my mind. I'm like, you know what? If I see her, I'm definitely going to roast her. Like, that was my thing. What was it that pushed you to that point? You have to stay tuned. On Monday. On, on every Monday mm -hmm. for that, that builds up. <laughs> what time and channel? Monday, 8 p.m., 7 Central on VH1. Is it good? How good is it? Just g give us a little <laughs> song, just anything. Um, It gets good. I scream on him, I check him, I check her. Then, you know, we try yeah, to- Last episode, she was checking the whole room, <laughs> Cardi B, Mariah Lane, like, <laughs> Like, cause they trying to speak up and she's like, were you there? And I felt like I, was, I felt like I was getting ganged up on a little bit. Like, okay, well I'm in this by myself. Y'all three are ganging up on me. It's kind of weird. Like, wait, hold on, time out. Right. Do you think that people take you being soft spoken and very pretty as like, oh, I could just push over on her. And then you're like, hey, remember, Right. Yeah, because you have to like not not that I'm the underdog. I don't want to call it that, but yeah. if you go on national television and you're saying you're natural and you know you, you're wearing your like, there's certain things that people are like, wait, hold on, time out. Like you're not glam. Like you're already the enemy, kind of. So right. it's like I have to defend myself. You're all everything on you is real. Everything. Like you don't have booty shots. No, boobs nothing. Done. No, like down to the no curl, face work. The curl products I use are probably like you know what I'm saying. Like it's like it's just regular like oh, nothing that's why they hate you got it okay <laughs> that makes complete sense now do you have any friends girlfriends on the show girlfriends i mean on the show me and mariah are, are cool. cool yeah we're cool but as far as girlfriends that's my best nah. friend right here yeah that's so cute <laughs> and so what's the relationship with you and cardi just because she's been on the show for a while and i think people never know like are you guys cool I mean, from what I've gotten, like in, in the interactions we've gotten, we, we've supported Cardi on her shows. She's a great person. She's funny. Hilarious. She's too funny. And she Very definitely nice knows soul. how to lighten a situation because yes. in that moment, I was tight. But when she made a joke, yes, I she was did. laughing. Like, yeah. it was funny. You know what I'm saying? So she knows how to lighten the mood. That's good. Mm -hmm. You need that person there for of sure. Course. Because there's going to be more bread being <laughs> Oh yes. Around. So now let me understand. Is the whole show already filmed? For the most part? For the most part. But so things, things change. could change. Things could change. Stories could change. And if something happens in real life, they, they want to capture that. Mm -hmm. What happened at that party that we saw that had a fight? It was over you, Drewski. Yeah, that was uh, the, <laughs> the launch of our strip and fitness party. Bianca, we didn't invite her. You know, she wasn't invited by us. So I think when Sky seen her there, was like, yo, hold up. Sky might have thought I invited her. No. Right? Like I don't, I don't know how she got there. It's like right. the launch party. Yes. So, yeah. yeah, they just, you know, Sky. I told Sky, yo, go introduce yourself to everyone. They right. know me already, but go introduce yourself. Fitness trainers, people from the station was there. Like just yeah. say hi to everyone, and she just happened to say hi to Cardi, say hi to Mariah, and then her and Bianca got into it. I wasn't there. I seen it for the first time on TV mm -hmm. until they called me over. What happened? Wow. Well, so. Um she wasn't invited. Right. And First off. Okay. So, so you should be clear. Yeah. And um, I'm there and I realized that someone invited her and she's with Mariah, who's who I consider an acquaintance. And then Cardi's there. So I went over to say hi. But at the same time, in saying hi, it was like, you know, oh, no, you know me. I don't know you, but last... Uh, last Bianca week, was acting like she didn't yeah, know who she was. Yeah, it was like, was. no, you said my name, though, the first... You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, wait, hold on, tell me about You said, so your girlfriend's name is Sky. Like, okay, so you knew me, but you're lying. Okay. And so that was the problem. That was the problem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got it. And she, her, the beef is over. Mariah, I mean, Bianca calling my phone. She was with me when she called my phone. Mm -hmm. So when she approaches her, like, stop calling Drew's phone, She's like, I didn't do, I didn't call Drew's phone. So but now I did. get in the middle. Yeah, yeah but she, she did. did. It's so clear. It's like, it's like, I'm, I'm, but people are taking it like, I'm, I'm confused. Because like, did you not watch? Yourself. Yourself. Yeah. Like, I'm so confused. It's even on the episode before. Right. You know what I'm saying? So now I get called over and I'm thrown into the fire. And I got to not only just break it up, but clarify what's going on. And it's like, Bianca, don't lie. You do call my phone. You do hit me. I respond and I pick up. 
but Sky is aware of that. But you're lying in her face like she doesn't know. So it's almost blatant disrespect. Now you're like, okay, lying. crossing up. Yeah. For no reason. Maybe, and not to take her side at all, but maybe she felt like she doesn't want to cause an issue, so she's trying to like, hey, I'm not, so that you could calm See, down. See, but I would believe that, right? Right. But when she was sitting with Cardi, she said she's going to take my man. So she's clearly trying to cause an issue. <laughs> yeah. So she, it's like, yeah, you want, I, I would love to believe her. I'm pro-woman. Right. But it's like, oh, man, you kind of messing up here. You showed your card. Exactly. Right. Mm. <laughs> Drewski, white chocolate. Who yeah. came up oh, with this concept? Speaking of, I got a gift for you. <laughs> About time. Yeah. I've been waiting there you go. for mine. <laughs> there you go. Look at this. Says, this is a nice chocolate bar. Well, yes. white chocolate. Drewski, melts in your heart. Oh, sorry. Melts in your mouth and, and your, your heart. heart. Hmm. God, Sky, I pray for you. <laughs> I now, know. who came up with this? Was this you? Was this the, the show? Well, I came up with the actual bar, but it was based on, like, everyone while we were shooting. You know, like, Drewski ain't white. Drewski ain't. So I'm like, Drewski is white. I'm, I'm as white as they come. Yeah. But they're like, no, you know, so they're like, they just start saying white chocolate. Like, <laughs> the staff, the crew. Yeah. So I was like, all right, cool. Let's have some fun. Let me run with it. Right. So for the, for you know, internal crew, I was like, I brought that up. And then they were like, oh, this is amazing. So it just, like, everyone loved it so yeah. like, let me just let me just produce it you know? and you're the first white male on the show right? yes we did make history on love and hip-hop new york the first white guy on love and history that's what this see. is history in the making <laughs> <Yeah>. drewski <laughs> but this is so interesting now how did the casting happen did they contact you how did this yeah, work well, we like i know mona for some time and right. people on the on her staff and i think we spoke about things in the past. We had a show, a Hot 97 show that was on VH1 right. through the same production. So they were aware of me. They've been watching me and seeing my work and other things I'm doing and my relationships with not girls, but just with artists in general and just people in the business. And I, and I think after, you know, they're like, wow, last year was a good year for Drewski. He came up. He's working hard. He's on the radio, you know, six days a week and he's putting off for the city. Right. You know what I'm saying? I got the new he movement show hard. on Hot yeah. 97. So the city was like going crazy, the new artists and they reached out like, hey, would you be interested? And I'm like, yeah, let's talk about it. And they're like, well, what celebrity girl are you fucking? I'm like, no, no, I don't do that. Like, I don't, mess with bottle girls i don't yeah. like not that i don't like them i like not it. that you've never have right but i'm not in a relationship with one right <laughs> right because yes. i don't yes she's all natural but i'm not against big fake butts like, right you I definitely like look at them together yeah and, and slap it sometimes yeah. in the strip club but so i was i'm like yo no i'm not in a relationship with anyone that would interest you like, yeah but i am talking I mean, to someone i did hear that j-lo flirted with you one time <laughs> I, didn't, I never told her that. Okay, well. Shit. Look, I, was, I, mean, I was still trying to pursue it. Do you know it, how know. great that is? I mean, I wish J-Lo flirted with <laughs> yeah, <you. right. laughs> I, I, I mean, Drewski, you're out here. No, it's I love fine. J-Lo. I would wish. Yeah. Okay. Well, not anymore because you're yeah, with not Sky. Not anymore. Do you see how I quick Sky turned? She was like, <laughs> <laughs> not J -Lo anymore. Join our relationship and be on season eight of Love and Hip Hop New York. Would you be open to that, Sky? Uh, what? A threesome? To, um, hmm, we spoke about on it. it. We're working, He's work, working, 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 working on it. Drewski's working on it. <laughs> um, I'm not opposed to it only because I've never had one and I feel like I should be able to. Um, engage in new things with my significant other right. and be open to it. So I'm not. I'm not completely against it. We'll see. She's, she's, I just want you to know you hesitated a lot, yeah. but I think you're very optimistic. Good I'm luck. Optimistic. I don't think it's going to happen. She, she said it's more of a gift. So I, there's, I got to do something for a reward. It's a Marry reward. her. That's I, I, what. Oh, oh whoa, whoa, wait, okay, slow down. Like you're not so slow down. Like you. Let's get through the season. Of <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, so Drewski, we want to play a quick game okay. with you and Sky because we love you guys on Love and Hip Hop Monday nights yes. Yes. on VH1. Okay, so this game is called Game of Love and Memory, okay? Ooh. So we're going to start with Drewski, and mm -hmm. it's basically like the wedding game. And <laughs> we're going to use this piece of paper right here. Um, so we have oh, Queen okay, Kong, yeah. who is a big yes, he's fan. Yes, one supporter, Kong. Now, Kong, I, I, no, come here, Kong, because I want you to get your credit because you are a fan of them. You're yes. a fan <laughs> of love and hip hop. Thank you. So now the game works where basically we're going to ask you a question and you guys write your own personal answers. Okay. And then I'm going to ask you guys to flip it over at the same time and we'll see if your guys' so answers match. Answer. Don't look. You cannot see his answer. Don't cheat. Now, any other rules that I'm forgetting, Kong? Um be explicit 
Okay. Ooh, Ooh, calm, go back. Go back. Never mind. We didn't want him on the camera. Okay. So a game of love and memory. Now, okay. don't cheat. No, we're not going to cheat. Right? I, I don't cheat anymore. Okay, good. Drew's got proud of you. That. He's come a long way, Sky. I agree, because in, in the beginning, I was. It, it was <laughs> tough. It was, it was tough. <laughs> it was long days of trying to convince Drewski that there's mm. more to life than <laughs> just being out here. I agree. Yeah, he was. <laughs> okay. All right. So where did you guys have your first kiss? Don't look at each other's Ooh. answers. Uh -huh. Write it down, and then I'll ask you both to reveal your answers mm. once it's done. Mm. Sky, don't cheat. Does it have to be specific, or can it just the be The first like kiss. Like, where were we? Yeah. Where were you guys when you had your first kiss? And then when you guys are ready, let me know. And then we'll see if your guys' answers. I don't, I don't remember. To be honest. It's all oh, Drewski, on. have you faith. Remember this. Okay, go, I'm, Drewski, I'm you better I, I remember, remember this. Okay, I let's see. Down, let's see. Turn it over in front of the station. Oh, damn. In the car outside her I job. I was gonna say, Stevie said the opposite. In front of the radio station. He, but because he kissed me on, he didn't, it wasn't a real kiss. He kissed me on my, on my like cheek, like right here. Uh, 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 outside your job. Outside my job. But Juicy wants to be right so bad. He's so competitive. It's great. Well, <sighs> so who's right? Where was the first? I mean, this was the first like kiss on the cheek. Okay, which this is yours? Amount, no, mine. Oh, that doesn't count. Yes, it does. Yeah, what? Kiss on the cheek counts. This it doesn't. Like Bianca time. kissed me on the cheek. Okay, that doesn't wait, count. I mean, that counts, but I let it slide. Just take mm -hmm. it okay. easy, Juicy. Those <laughs> things can get you punched. Um, <laughs> like, I mean, for me, this is the most memorable one. That oh. was the real, I guess, the, the, the real one. The so, real tongue in action. This yeah. is the first time the my first lips time. ever touched it. That's exactly. Why. Oh. Which is more sentimental. Of course, the guy would remember the French. Of course mm -hmm. he would. Okay. okay. No uh, problem. Look, at least you guys. I was like. 50-50. Yeah, it was 50-50. Yeah. They get halvesies on this. Okay. okay, next question. I gotta win. <laughs> what month is your anniversary? Whoo, child. <laughs> Sky, don't look at him. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> what would you... What? It just depends on how you feel about the situation. <laughs> Sky, put your guess. Okay. Oh, come on, Drew. Okay. Um, hmm. Uh, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> you racing? I'm erasing because you know. Sky, he's more confident than you right now. I just want you to know. It's I not know, I know. I'm, okay, ready? Let me see. Okay, go ahead. Show me your answers. Okay, show the cameras. Dang. What did you say? You guys are one month off. <laughs> You're saying you say? January and he's saying February. Uh, uh, were so what were you doing in January, yeah, Juski, that see? you don't remember well, that that's no, no, when no, you're... One what? time. <laughs> 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 no, no, no. I felt like it was after we visited her father in Switzerland where um, it was like official. But, and I thought we agreed to but, that. I'm so okay, confused right we, now. We did, right? But for me, <laughs> I was committed to him from January. January. So for me, he might not have been committed There's as some girls yet. watching like, in February, hold up. <laughs> I know about you guys. Me and my I friends promise. was at the house. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely know about you guys. But, but um, for me, I was committed in January. That's what, yeah, but... Okay, she was committed in January. So when are we going to celebrate the anniversary in 2017? We don't do anniversaries. <laughs> February, after we went to Switzerland. Well, you know, my birthday is on February, Valentine's Day. On Valentine's Day. Oh God, that that was a big day for us, too. So I guess I guess I wouldn't want to I wouldn't want to tell you that's our anniversary, too, though, because you already have two gifts two, to get. Yeah. Birthday, Valentine. You're so we might thoughtful. as well all just cram it into one. Yeah. Right here on, on Nessa's show. Just one Let's gift for our, everything. For birthday yes. and your anniversary. That makes it one. so much no, easier. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> one. <laughs> all right. Let's, okay, here we go. Drewski, hmm. what jacket was Sky wearing when she met you at Columbus Square? Ooh. Oh. Right. <laughs> you want me to? I got to write it too, right? Yep, write it down so we make sure that the answer is correct. All right. Okay, let me see. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Pink. pink leather you jacket. Got it for me. That's <laughs> oh, how cute! Wait, is pink your favorite color? Pink isn't. My purple is. But I was I was exploring being a female. <laughs> yeah, when I first met her, she was like a real tomboy. Like Similar to like you, yeah. baggy shirts. Mm -hmm. and I love real it. Chill. I love it too. I'm so like, uh, yeah, that's cool. But let's girl it up I a hate little. You, mm -hmm. You're terrible. You're terrible. <laughs> I love it. All right, here we go. Mm. 
<laughs> what did Drewski call Bianca's hair color? Mm, I oh, got I that one. <laughs> Compared to what it was. <laughs> yeah. What did you call it? And what was it really? Okay. Green, but it was blue. I said green, but from a distance. <laughs> I, when I seen her walking down the street, is the the, gl the sun glare. It was, the, it was neon. It was blue. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is fun. Yeah, I'm actually entertained. <laughs> okay, so Sky, I want you to fill in the blank. Okay. A little blank never hurt nobody. It's good for business. Oh, I, I gotta know write that it down. One. I know that one. I'll write. Okay, show me your answers. <laughs> Flirty. <laughs> and you put a little smiley face. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, I don't like it. I put a frown. <laughs> she put a dog. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last question. Drewski, fill in the blank. Uh oh. Damn. <laughs> Young B, you need to blank her. Uh -oh. That's easy. Now you gotta remember, we don't really watch the show. To <laughs> really, but you watch it like with with uh, the premiere of the night, right? But we, even then, we still kind of so much, going, so much on. going on. It's hard to like watch and listen and right, check. <laughs> I like but it. These are like these are like yeah, these very are, prominent right. like yes. things. Uh, Good, but, but yeah, like. I don't think we've sat and really watched a full episode of ourselves really? yeah, no. without being around people or at a like, party. We, we've taken like cuts from social media <laughs> and stuff like that that we've seen, but we haven't sat and by ourselves. Do you want to watch yourself? No. <laughs> I, I don't. Stand. He likes it. I, I'm like, I'm, I'm okay. I'm sure I've seen enough. It's yeah. Right. Mm, Drewski, you just love seeing yourself, huh? Yeah. We're the <laughs> if you haven't, like, we're the opposite. Like, we're completely opposite. Obviously. But it works. Yeah, <laughs> but that's what makes this so awesome. <laughs> so you guys are still together. Those rumors aren't true. We're going to see what caused you to throw bread mm -hmm. at Bianca this see. Monday night on VH1. Mm -hmm. Yes, at 8 p.m. 7 Central. Okay, well, I'm going to watch because I want to see what made you throw bread. Okay. And shout out to all our vegans out there. Yeah, yes. shout out to all my vegans, anyone who's lost weight, anyone who hasn't and wants to. Please, you can follow me on Skylandish, Twitter, IG, Snapchat. Everything. And you everything. post tips and everything. I, po yeah. I, I post tips. I have a blog. It's shipandfitness.com, and that's ship, the letter N, fitness.com. All right, great. Yes. Drewski, what else you got working? Well, they could, of course, listen to me on Hot 97, right. weekdays, new at 2 a.m., Saturday, 3 to 7, and then Sunday, the new movement show at 11 p.m. And then I'm hosting a lot of interviews on Vivo. So if they go to oh, Vivo, nice. some real dope stuff. Behind the scenes and music videos is really dope. And then, of course, Love and Hip Hop Mondays. And one last message to Sky. <laughs> oh, my um, gosh. He Did he mess up? He's being really mine's sweet. Mine's blank. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I love it. Let me change this to Bianca. Uh, no, don't even play. You better not. You don't even know how to spell her. Oh, he spelled it right. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love you guys. Well, listen, we're going to need an update in a couple weeks. Yes. Yes. All we'll right. Keep you updated. We will. All right. So I'll see you soon. Sky, stay beautiful. Drewski, I'm really yes. proud of you. Keep doing your thing. And thank you for letting me fill in when you're out. Hey, man, listen, it's coming up um, the end of <laughs> yeah. December. So make sure you Are listen to me. enjoy your holiday. I'll I am. be stuck here. Okay? I'm going to go see mom and dad for a little bit. Yeah. Take care yeah. of them. Tell, so, them. tell them we said hi. Yeah. You got it. Thank you mm -hmm. guys so much. Thanks for having us.